Hey guys, so in today's video, I will be talking about my first 2020 Atlantic hurricane season forecast. Um, before we begin, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. I hope you're all having a great day. Um, I'm about to actually go on a walk with my mom and my siblings. Um, so uh, just getting now going back into this. So uh, first we're looking at all the agencies who have put out their hurricane season forecast for 2020 so far. And it's really primarily in the month of April, so um, within this past month. Um, so first, uh, we had uh, we had the Tropical Storm Risk, uh, which is an agency out of London, University of London, put out their forecast way back in mid-December last year. Then they called for 15 total storms, seven hurricanes, four major hurricanes. Then, uh, and, uh, then April came, and we finally started to get a bunch more. So Colorado State University put was the first um, agent, uh, place to put out their forecast. Um, put it out on April 2nd. They're calling for 16 total storms, 8 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes. Tropical Storm was put out their newer and more revised forecast on April 7th, calling for 16 total storms, 8 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes. Not too different from Colorado State University's forecast. Then University of Arizona put out their forecast on April 13th, calling for 19 total storms, 10 hurricanes, and 5 major hurricanes. Really uh, even more active than Colorado State University and Tropical Storms updated forecast. Then the Weather Channel put out their forecast a, few days, a couple days later on April 15th, calling for 18 total storms, 9 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes. And then finally, on April 17th, North Carolina State University put out their forecast, calling for between 18 to 22 total storms, 8 to 11 hurricanes, 3 to 5 major hurricanes. So if we were really put that into um, uh, actual, no, into a set numbers, it would be 20 total storms, 10 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes from them. And then um, just a little, uh, few, uh, like a week ago or so, uh, Penn State's Earth System Science Center put out their forecast calling for between 15 and 24 storms with a best estimate of 20 named storms. They're thinking this could be potentially, if the season really is really uh, active, we could be seeing the our second most active uh, hurricane season on record right behind 2005. So uh, this, is, this is getting really really crazy um now i just want to uh show you actually before you uh show you my official my, well not uh, my uh, uh hurricane forecast as of right now before we uh, show you that I want to take a look at the uh, gfs model which has consistently in the past few days been showing a uh, system potentially forming around, around may 15th now we were we have been eyeing uh, the system that for that's bring going to be bringing really heavy rain to southern Florida and the Keys especially, which uh, started in the western Gulf and now is in the central and eastern Gulf, about to head over southern Florida, and that'll bring heavy rains. Now we haven't really thought that uh, it didn't really look like it would form into a storm. Really, it just was too elongated, didn't really come together that much. But in the latest, in this uh, 6Z run this morning, uh, the GFS started showing an actual closed low um, for the system um, right right after it had gone over the Bahamas. Um, so uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on this and see if it actually potentially will come together well enough to be named. If not, um, then we'll just have to look out for this uh, next potential system for May 15th, that uh, its moisture actually is over the Bahamas again in that same general area um, system we're watching right now. Um, and that this actually looks like it really could become a named system, probably subtropical system, especially with this latest run. Um, it looks a decent bit weaker and kind of just stays in the ocean just off the eastern seaboard coastline so there that's uh that's something we'll just have to keep an eye on in the coming days let's look at the uh vorticity uh let's look at uh, 850 millibar uh, let's go back to um so 
Well, let's go back to the system we're watching currently, and you can see the vorticity isn't great, really, but it uh, looks like towards uh, the morning of May 11th, it looks like the vorticity could get its act together a bit more, so we'll have to keep watching that closely, because it looks uh, a little more heightened that uh, the system could um, be named. Um, uh, but really, we'll just have to, we're really focusing on the 15th system that forms over the Bahamas and that vorticity for that looks very good so that this could really become our potentially first name system which would be Arthur that would be the first uh, name on the list for this year's hurricane season so we'll just have to keep uh, watching that in the coming days and it seems like uh, some of the models have been, started to catch on to that a little bit um, especially with the system we're watching now actually um, specifically with the system we're, system we're watching now uh, the CMC shows the system shows the system um, so it, well it shows this current system kind of potentially getting its act together a little bit but then going into May 15th time frame this, by the way CMC is a, the Canadian model for those of you who don't know Shows a system somewhat getting its act together, but um, not really, not all that great. Um, let's look at the Euro. And the Euro, uh, let's back it up. Actually, the Euro for um, this system that's going to be bringing the heavy rains to the southern Florida and the Keys uh, brings the vorticity, looking, making it look uh, really good, but it could potentially be named. But then let's go forward in time and look at the, uh, yeah, it's for the 15th, it looks like it actually could be named um, for, no, not the 15th, for this current one, could be named. It's not really latching on to the idea of the 15th system. Oh, well, actually, well, it'll be forming a little later, more towards the uh, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. So it's showing some vorticity, which uh, is good. Um, so we have three models, the two most major models, the GFS and Euro, are both showing it. And then the CMC as well. So that's uh, something we're definitely going to have to just keep an eye on throughout uh, this week. Um, we'll definitely get a lot better of an idea going into, um, going uh, really getting to Wednesday. Um, but uh, you know what, let's now look at my uh, 2020 Atlantic hurricane season forecast as of right now. Uh, by the way, this picture is of Hurricane Katrina. Uh, this is Hurricane Andrew. So my uh, forecast as of right now is calling for 20 total named storms, 11 total hurricanes, and 7 major hurricanes. And by the way, uh, AccuWeather had um, just updated their forecast a few days ago, calling for, at the highest end, um, total 20 total named storms, 11 hurricanes, and 6 major hurricanes, all at the highest end of their new forecast. So my current forecast, which I've... Uh, Hell, I've uh, had for a couple weeks now is at the very high end of their new forecast. I'm gonna wait to see uh, what Noah's forecast is um, uh, when it comes out within the next uh, week and a half or so um, to see uh, what I should change. I feel very confident um, with uh, the total amount of hurricanes and major hurricanes I have, but um, I think I'm really, if I'm gonna make any changes, I'm gonna either up or down the total amount of named storms. Um, though I have a feeling I'm going to increase it a little bit. So uh, that's my 2020 Atlantic hurricane season forecast. I'm going to make a final one um, after Noah make my final uh, 2020 Atlantic hurricane season forecast video after Noah's forecast comes out. So uh, hopefully you'll uh, tune in for that. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.